More than 20,000 youth volunteers support VA's mission at sites all across the U.S. Each year, the James H. Park Memorial Fund recognizes their service with a scholarship. Today, we'd like to introduce you to the 2012 Park Award honoree, Elizabeth Lizzie Lineski. 18-year-old Lizzie Lineski of Pinckney, Michigan, is a straight-A student and a member of the National Honor Society. But when it comes to school, I've always had, like, no one's ever pressured me, but for some reason I've just always wanted to get all the A's and get the good grade on the test. I've had her about four different times in different classes. Very hardworking, very dedicated, goes above and beyond parameters set in class. You never have to worry about her getting anything done. Okay, we're broken. Lizzie also shows horses and was chosen by her coach to co-captain her high school equestrian team. She's a perfectionist, so anything that she does, it may take her a little bit longer, but the end result is 110 percent. Bingo. All right. Her proudest achievement, however, and the defining experience of Lizzie's young life is the volunteer service she's performed at the Ann Arbor VA Medical Center. G55 and 068. I've worked in the director's office in public affairs. I did social work. I coordinated the student programs. I really have my mom to thank for introducing me, but I have the veterans to thank even more for kind of keeping me coming back. Lizzie was just four when her mom, Voluntary Services Chief Beverly Lineski, began bringing her here. By the time she was 10, Lizzie had become an active volunteer. And since then, she has toted up well over 1,200 hours of volunteer service. And like so many of us volunteers here, have seen her growing up and it's been a pleasure. Hello. Yeah. Hey, good morning. She can light up a room when she walks in with a smile. Um, and I know a veteran, being a veteran myself, uh, that's very important. Mike Doro is an Air Force veteran who also volunteers at VA. He and Lizzie have helped lift the spirit of many patients and families over the years. Specifically on the holidays, you know, it's, it's a time where a lot of people struggle. Coming in on like Thanksgiving and especially Christmas Eve and just how like appreciative they are, it just kind of blows my mind because they're so happy that you thought of them, but in reality, they don't owe us anything. It's we like who owe them our time. I'm so lucky to be able to have this experience. It's an experience Lizzie enjoys sharing with others, which she does by recruiting her friends to volunteer as well. She's active in 4-H, so she's brought her 4-H group in several times, and they actually put on a little horse show over in the uh, community living center for the veterans over there. They brought stick horses in and kind of did a little drill team for them. Voluntary Services, this is Lizzie. Who may I help you? A lot of people don't realize how much stuff there is to do and how much you can help. So if you're a driven person who kind of wants to make a difference in the world and help okay. other people, like the VA is like a good place to come okay. because everyone is just so appreciative and it just like teaches you like how to like get involved and make a difference. I think that's just that pride she takes in what she does and just shows in everything that she does and how she dresses and how she communicates with people. She's just the package. <laughs> Thank you, it was really nice Thank meeting you. you. I don't have a daughter myself, but if, but if she was my daughter, I'd be thanking God each and every day. The world would be a better place if we had more Lizzie's. If you'd like to learn more about volunteer opportunities at VA, please go to volunteer.va.gov.